what motivated us to do this project is that each year thousands of pediatric patients have to undergo a procedure to have a blockage from within their urinary system removed and as part of the recovery process a stent is put in place between their kidney and their bladder just to help everything drain during the recovery process. This means that they have to come back to the hospital three weeks later to have it taken out and the current procedure requires that pediatric patients have to go under general anesthesia and be put fully under in an operating room. And so we really wanted to just simplify that and get rid of the need for all that excessive stuff. The stents are right in place inside the child and it's currently used everywhere by the pediatric surgeons and even adult surgeons array. So all we did to the stent was we took the existing stent as well as the string that comes off the stent and we just have the surgeon clip the string to appropriate length, tie our bead to the end of that string because our bead has a through hole so it makes tying easier and more secure and then we just leave it inside the body and because the bead's been coated it survives the month without any incrustation or anything so all we've done is taken the stent, put a bead at the end of it, turn our magnet on and it comes right out. What I have here is a permanent magnet uh, for the sake of not having our electromagnet overheating because once we use it for more than 30 seconds it's actually going to be uh, very hot but this permanent magnet has the same magnetic strength as the electromagnet. If you hover over the magnet so once we have that here you see that the string is now the string now has tension and now the surgeon will simply take the string and slowly pull out the stent. The main criteria that we were talking about here is that we don't want to pose any risk to the patient. The idea of us removing anesthesia from the process is that we want the process to be safer. So that was the first criteria. We also wanted the process to be cheaper because right now we estimated that it cost about $2,600 for the procedure to occur for the hospital. And we thought that was ridiculous for a one minute procedure. So we basically set $2,600 as our maximum possible limit. Now we actually ended up somewhere between 200 and 500, so we're pretty happy with that. And our third criteria was that we shouldn't cause any pain to the patient, or as minimal pain as possible. Right now, we are really confident with our device in our test bed, but we definitely want to move forward into animal trials, just because the tissue in the animal will better represent kind of the environment inside the patient. And um, we're pretty confident about those too, so hopefully after animal trials, we'll be able to move into some patient trials. But um, as my team and I have discussed, there's really no downside to trying this on a patient because if our device doesn't work, it's really easy to just revert back to the old procedure.